rotary phase converter build has begun. Get an idea of how big these things are. This one's a 15 horse, that one's a 25 horse. I think we're gonna use the 15. The first test of the rotary phase converter, house power coming in, L1, L2. And I've got going to my motor, L1, L2, and T3 here. This capacitor goes from L2 to T3. This capacitor goes to L1 to L2. And then this is my start capacitor and my potential relay. So we're gonna flip the switch and see if it explodes. Uh, I'm gonna let go. Yeah. Only if you do that. I'm gonna Hello. Part two of that one video. We're throwing the bat at you. Part two of that video. All right guys, so I attempted to make a phase converter panel myself with the capacitors and everything, and it just didn't work out. So I went ahead and bought from North American Phase Converters and Electrical Supply, their DIY kit. So this is the panel that's rated for a 15 horse motor. So you buy the panel from them and then provide your own motor. And I have tested it and it does start my motor and everything works. Seems pretty awesome, pretty straightforward. So in all the diagrams and everything that I've found for wiring these things, um, and, and, and I'm not an electrician, uh, I never saw this particular piece. I never saw this particular piece. Oh, I think this is the, this is the contactor what uh, starts the motor. The potential relay, all the diagrams that I found only used terminals one, two, and five. And so this one is actually using all the terminals. So it's definitely wired differently. And these capacitors are, they say are the oil field capacitors. It's definitely supposed to be higher quality and it's supposed to monitor your phases to make sure that everything works the way it's supposed to. So, and like I say, I have tested it and it does work. It does generate power. I'm gonna get this thing installed and uh, see if we can get this grinder working. And here's my motor. This particular motor is from the Brook Motor Corporation. It's an AC induction motor. It spins at 1,720 RPM. At 220, it's 38 amps. At 460, it is 19 amps. Uh, it's a three-phase motor, obviously. 15 horsepower, 60 hertz. It's a beast. M me and my daughter tried to pick it up, and we couldn't pick it up. You know, she can deadlift 300 pounds. I can deadlift 600 pounds. But, yeah, it's heavy. It's a beast. So I'm going to have to get the tractor and rig me up a chain to get this thing moved. It's got the phase converter all wired up. Once I get it tested, I'll get it pushed up under the bench so that, you know, the uh, shaft there is protected. I may build me a little box around the shaft so nothing gets wound up around it. And I didn't have any uh, A3 wire. So um, if, you, if you double up 12 gauge wire, it acts like a nine gauge wire. And the load that I'm gonna be running on this particular device, uh, I'm not gonna be even anywhere close to maxing it out. I'm probably gonna be using about 20% of what it's capable of. And so I just used a, a, I doubled up the black and the white on each of the 12 gauge wires and ran them up here and wired them in here. And I twisted the grounds together and grounded it. So it's all grounded nicely. And then uh, here's wires going out to my plug, which is going to go to my machine. Plugs in the floor. And then here is my number eight gauge wire coming in from my electrical service. In the future, this box will be moved into a new location and it will be wired with the proper number four wire. So it calls for number four wire as a, as a minimum. And the reason why I went with number eight is again, uh, this machine is not gonna draw, but literally 20% of what this rotary phase converter is capable of. So we won't be anywhere close to maxed out. All right, so let's plug it in, uh, get the panel on the front and see if it'll fire up the motor. All right, here it goes. T1 to T2, which is the house power, is 247. T1 to T3, 264. T2 to T3, 265. Okay, with our surface grinder running. T1 to T2, 245. T1 to T3, 253. T2 to T3, 
to 58. So it's well within range. So there you go, guys. Base converter from North American. Works beautifully. So next up is we're going to figure out how to use this grinder, play with it some, and I'll make a video about it after I get it figured out. All right, guys, from this old farm shop, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.